I have been working at Blessed Ministries, and now, believe it or not, we see at least, I definitely see at least 400 candidates per month, helping mm -hmm. them with jobs, training. I bring in companies to interview, uh, I bring, do recruitments, set up job fairs. You know, I'm really engaged. And oftentimes, the first impression is a lasting impression, especially to employers. Give people an idea of what we may see on a day-to-day -day basis. Some, some of the individuals we're dealing with, they're young. And you figure over the last three years, most people have been in the house. They really didn't have any dress code standards. Everything was done via, you know, internet or computer. But now we're coming out of all of that. You know, I get a lot of people that come in with wave scarves, you know, uh, scandally, scandally clad clothing, you know, you know, not becoming a lady or someone looking for a job. Oh, well, well, go ahead, because I, I can keep going on. This. Oh, okay. On some real, real job interview, and I'm going to act ratchet. Got a uh, button up on so it could look like I'm ready for an interview, but I'm coming in there with some booty shorts on and some, some slides, period. Hi, I'm a supporter, man. All right, so look. <laughs> the uh, wave scarves on, they, they won't take their hat off. They got these black and miles on the side of their ears. Some people, uh, they don't have a filter. They just mm. curse in public, using the F word, using the N word. And I have to correct them on a regular basis. This is not proper protocol. When right. Public, Why did you come in not looking interview ready? Like, you don't have on a tie I'm interview. I have on a white button up. What do, what do you want me to do, put on a suit and tie? I'm I have just, a white button up, sir. Are you looking at my breast? I'm not looking at your breast. Okay. I'm looking at all right, so <laughs> so let's go uh, down this list. Yes. Her attire is inappropriate. She's very combative, dismissive. Her language, she's using profanity in the interview. Um, and the reason to be hired, she said, because she wants to travel and hang out with her friends. And then she's just impolite, her whole behavior. Like, this is the manager. She has no respect for him she has no respect for the company and to be perfectly honest the way she carries herself she has no respect for herself